Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today um, we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the new SketchUp Pro 2021. Um, and even though technically this doesn't apply uh, strictly just to the wall plugin, uh, I thought I would just uh, kind of feature it with the wall plugin. But um, yeah, first of all, I just wanted to say, um, you know, this uh, new release of this version of SketchUp. Is uh, has some features that I find um, uh, you know, worth uh, talking about. So uh, let's just dive right into it. And I wanted to get uh, a little more in depth with the new features here under the tags, or as I call them, layers. So you'll notice now that you have this ability to add a tag folder or layer folder. <clears throat> and uh, right off the bat, too, um, and I'm kind of a creature of habit, so. Um, I still call tags layers, so I apologize for the confusion that might uh, present to some people. But um, basically, they're the one and the same. They're, even though we now call them tags, um, layers, tags, it's, it's all the same. And actually, under the hood, it, it really hasn't changed. It's just, it's just a matter of syntax, I guess. <clears throat> so one thing you'll notice if you're already using the plugins, um, <clears throat> there is a layers tab. And basically, the plugins, uh, both the wall, uh, the foundation, and the trust plugin, will uh, assign you know different pieces of geometry to different layers um, if you have this uh, turned on. So typically, I like to have this turned on. And you can also turn on the advanced wall layers, which will even break it out more and give you more of a granular uh, distribution into different uh, layers or tags. So we'll just leave it at that. That's kind of the default setting. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a little bit of geometry here and kind of show you um, what happens within the plugin uh, and what happens here with these uh, layers and tags, I guess, and try to explain some new features that you can use with this uh, tag folder. So uh, let's go ahead and drop a grid down just first, first off. Again, I like to use this little grid uh, extension provided by SketchUp. Great little tool to have. And I think we'll just throw a little quick slab on grade on that. Real simple. Uh, let's see, let's do like a 24 maybe by 32. So come out here, stretch out here. There we go. So I'm just going to kind of leave everything as defaults because I'm really not focused on uh, the plugins, uh, and the different parameters themselves. Just, just trying to throw some geometry up real quick. Okay, so, so first off, okay, so now, just like as before in in any of the other versions, uh, as soon as you go ahead and create, start using the plugins, you're going to see a bunch of these layers generated, right? And so what we can do now is, you know, typically you draw that, and then you'll draw the walls and whatever else, and you'll have a whole list of layers here, or tags, and you know it gets pretty cumbersome over time. Because you know there is there is a lot of them. So um, what you can do is we can create now a tag folder, and I'm just going to call this foundation or FND, and then I'm just going to select all these guys, and I'm going to drop them into this folder. So and and <clears throat> it's really nice because you know before if I wanted to turn off concrete, you know of course, and you can still do this. You know you can turn off the concrete. You can turn off the anchor bolts or, or whatever else you want to turn off. Um, but now that you've got everything in one folder, you can simply turn off the folder and you can turn off everything within that folder. So that's kind of a handy little feature, I think, with this uh, new tag folder concept. So let's go ahead and just throw some walls up real quick. Uh, just leave everything as default. Start here on this corner. Uh, let's see. Walls, nothing too complicated. Get it right there to the corner. Hit the space bar, jumps us out. Okay, so there's our walls. Okay, so let's close up this. Um, let's close up this <coughs> folder or <coughs> tag folder, as they call it. And let's. Uh, so now we noticed all these wall layers or wall tags that have been created. So let's go ahead and generate or create a. Uh, we don't want to create it inside. We can create it inside the other one. But see, now that created that, let's delete that. Um, we need to put our mouse there and then go ahead. And, oh, still wanting to put it there. Not sure why it's creating. 
Okay, I see what's happening. I'm just getting a little bit confused here. Um, okay, so yeah, these are these are outside that folder. Sometimes I get a little confused, like which, you know, if th if this is inside of that other one, but these are certainly outside it. So um, let's just delete that one. We haven't added anything to that one as well. Delete that one. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and create a wall, and then. Uh, and by the way, I'm still really new using 2021 and this 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 whole some of these new features. So you know, I'm a little probably not as fast as I I will be eventually. Um, so let's drag all these in there, and there you go. So we've got now all the wall layers are stuck inside the wall folder, and the foundation layers are in the foundation folder, and it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot more organized, um, and it's a lot more easier to find things. So now let's go ahead and add some doors and windows. Let's go ahead and make sure we got all the options enabled. Sure, that'll be fine. I'm just going to rotate this around here and throw a door right there. <coughs> just throw a couple windows in, maybe. Yeah, let's throw another one over here, just a heck of it. And then let's throw in a garage door. Let's turn all the advanced options there. <coughs> Like I said, it doesn't really matter, I guess, where, where we put everything. And, you know, of course, we have some anchor bolts pop in up there. We have to delete those, but we won't worry about that right now. Um, <clears throat> so you notice as we added more stuff, we did get this one additional uh, doored hardware layer that got uh, instantiated because of this doorknob that is present. So, you know, we would we can do a couple things. Well, number one, we can just drag it into the wall folder. What I'm actually going to do, though, is I'm going to open up this wall folder. Actually, turn that back on, and I'm going to I'm going to put my mouse over that, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder, and I'm going to call this door. Right? Sorry. So now this door folder is actually a subfolder within the wall folder. Okay. So I'm going to take this guy and drag this up inside door. Then I'm going to come down in here, and I'm going to find the uh, wall door and drop that in there as well. So now you can see we've got, we've got nested folders, which is really kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I like this. And so we can, uh, you know, we could theoretically turn off the, the door folder and both of those layers or tags will get turned off. And then, you know, of course, if we turn off the wall, it, it encompasses everything. So all of that is turned off. So I really like the fact that we finally added this. I don't know. I, I think I've actually been saying on the forums, you know, please add something like this. Or um, I, I think I've mentioned at some point, but um, no, it's a really, it's a really nice feature to have this ability to organize your layers like this. Um, so now, you know, and, and then, you know, if you have ex other extraneous layers that you might have or miscellaneous things, it's nice to have, you know, the foundation, the wall just tucked neatly away and you don't have to look at you know a hundred million layers while you're doing other things right so let's go real quick um, I, you know I don't want to be uh, too long on this but let's go ahead and add in just a roof here a truss roof so let's go ahead. and you notice I go to the framing and not to the sheathing okay and then let's drive it down here Okay, let's turn on that on. Let's turn on that, turn on that. Okay, we've got all that turned on, it looks like. Alright, just leave all those as default. Yes, yes. Okay, so there we go. There's our truss roof. And as you can see now, of course, we've generated a whole bunch more layers for the roof or tags, sorry, I keep calling them layers, but that's just me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and create a new, uh, I don't know, just call it roof, I guess, that's fine. Whether it's truss or grafter, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to stuff all of these guys into that folder. Okay, and so, yeah, we've got this, we can turn that off, that turns all the roof off. Now notice, interestingly, interestingly enough 
the, the sheathing and the cladding and the gypsum for the ceiling, even though um, they were, you know, they're part of the truss assembly or roof assembly, they are actually assigned to the layers that are typically, you know, used by the wall plugin. So, and I do that on purpose because, you know, they really are wall sheathing and wall cladding, but they're part of the truss assembly. So that's what's happening there. That's why you're seeing these as not be hidden because they're part of the, the wall uh, layers. But anyways, um, yeah, it just it just it really cleans things up here in your in your tags uh, little um, tray, and I think that's a really really nice feature. So uh, finally, let's just go ahead and add in. Um, let's say this is a garage, and we have something here. we want to put a little outlet right there. So let's go ahead and click outlets. And we want maybe like a waterproof, weatherproof receptacle. Um, sure, let's try that. Let's throw it right there. Okay. And there you go. There's your weatherproof receptacle. And again, same, same concept here. Let's just go ahead and create a folder called electrical. And stuff all these guys in there. Yeah, and then again, same concept. You can turn all your electrical off at once. Really nice and easy. Notice we have this floor sheathing layer. Um, this layer is created, I think, by the Trust plugin for attic uh, floors and will probably be used um, by the upcoming floor plugin. But so, you know, we could probably, we'd probably end up creating a layer um, a uh, folder or tag folder for floors and I'd probably stuff that guy in there oh, wait, I gotta click on it first actually yeah so there we go so everything's cleaned up everything's put away it's really nice and tidy um, we can turn entire assemblies off you know as as we need as we see fit so I really, I really like this, uh, this whole uh, folder concept and the ability to create subfolders within it. And so, like you know, within the wall, you know, we have obviously the door. We probably create one for windows, and we put the window. Um, let's see, there's a wall window guy right here. So if you know, if you hide that, you notice all the windows get hid. Uh, but you know, it's it's really up to you. But the point is, as far as I know, you can um, nest folders within folders, probably as deeply as you like, um, and you know, my main concern here with this new uh, SketchUp 2021 was that, you know, if you did move these um, tags or layers into these folders, would my uh, extensions ha try to recreate them kind of in the root folder? And apparently that is not the case, so everything is, is good. And uh, yeah, so once you create the folder or the, the tags or layers, doesn't matter where you put them, um, they're there and the plugin plays nicely. All the plugins play nicely with them. So, yeah, I'm quite impressed with this uh, new addition to SketchUp. So, anyways, if you have any questions or thoughts or suggestions, uh, please email me or you uh, can even give me a phone call. And once again, I thank you guys, everyone, for your support and please stay safe. Thank you.